Is it the truth that you'll be leaving tonight? We should take a walk then a swim in the sea That would mean everything, yeah, everything to me Can we get out of this one? Waiting and missing I never thought you would leave me here We can get out of this one A tunnel of feelings Just like we got through everything else But I see you Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Jamie if you're new to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a flip through of the brand new health and the physical body science unit from The Good and the Beautiful. Today's video is brought to you by The Good and the Beautiful. I am always so thankful to be able to partner with such a beautiful company um, that I love and that blesses my family as well as so many of your guys' as well. As you can see, this is a levels three through eight science unit study. As I open up to the first page, you'll see that there's the table of contents. Um, there is 14 lessons in this unit unit, starting with how the body is formed, going into the different systems in the body, basics of nutrition, germs, um, and kind of everything in between regarding your body and how to take care of it. Moving on, it goes into the information for the unit. It talks about what a science journal is, a science wall, which is good to keep all of your vocabulary words on, what the preparation for the lessons look like. Like all of the other science units for the good and the beautiful, there are experiments and activities that you just always wanna make sure that you're with your children, supervising them and being hands-on to make sure everything is safe. There are unit videos on the goodandthebeautiful.com slash science videos for this unit that you can look up and it will tell you in the lessons when you need to access it. There is 7th or 8th grade uh, unit extensions as well as the option to um, pick and choose the content that you want for your younger children. And this is the very first version of this unit. As we look over to the read aloud book pack, there are two separate books that The Good and the Beautiful offer for this uh, unit to correspond with it. The first one being The Story of a Cold, which goes over just that, <laughs> The Story of a Cold, how it gets spread, where it comes from, um, and how your body fights it off. The next read aloud book is 50 Amazing Facts About Bones. And as you can see, there are some really cool pictures in this book. It goes into detail about how amazing our bodies are and the bones that make it up, our skeletal system. It's one of those things where I feel like once you really start learning about the body, you can't deny that we have an amazing creator and that we were made and designed so intricately and perfectly. God truly did create us and create our bodies um, and they are masterpieces. So this is a really cool book that will teach your children but also you some more facts about bones in our body and what they do for us. And those are available on the Good and the Beautiful's website. This goes into detail about the lesson extensions, how the extensions work and um, what to expect from them. There is also this book, Dr. Daniel Hill Williams, and it goes into detail about him as a doctor and what exactly he contributed um, to history as a doctor. Moving on, every one of the Good and the Beautiful's science units has a supplies needed page. This is a really great and useful resource to have. As you can tell, most of the things that they require for their use units are things that you already have at home. There might be something fun like red hot cinnamon candies, but I mean coffee filters, rubber bands, these are all things that you probably have at your house and if you don't, they're really easily accessible for you. And what I like to do is at the very beginning before I even start the unit, I will go through and I will gather all of these and put them in a tub and I just keep them there so that every week I can just pull out what I need for the lessons. Moving on, this is the vocabulary section. You'll see all of the vocabulary words, and these you can cut out and put um, through each lesson on your science wall. What we like to do is grab one of those three-part folded poster boards, and that's what we use for our science wall. 
So moving into the very first lesson, how the body is formed, you'll notice that it talks about the objective, any preparation you need, activity supplies, and then it will really guide you through reading what to read to your child and how exactly to go through the lesson. I love their science units because they really do kind of hold your hand as you go through it and you don't have to guess about what to say. Obviously, you are the teacher, you can go more into detail, use stories and whatever you wanna to utilize to teach your children, but they really give a really good foundation for you and for me at least, I, it helps me to not feel overwhelmed. So that is what lesson one looks like. As you can see, there is great illustrations like in all of the Good and the Beautiful science units. lesson four you'll see that it talks about the basics of nutrition so it's going to go over the different um, nutrients that our body needs the different food groups it'll give your children the opportunity to build a healthy meal and all of the different components that um, should incorporate an ideal meal for you for your body to get everything that it needs and then it goes into vitamins and hydration, the importance of hydration and getting in the different vitamins and minerals that our bodies need as well. Goes into detail about nutrition facts on, on uh, packages and what that means. Looks like there is a game in this lesson. And then we move into the other systems of the body.
As you can see, they're moving into the skeletal system and it says an optional read aloud. It mentions that at any point in this lesson, you might wanna pick up the 50 amazing facts about bones because it does correspond with the skeletal system. So anything extra like the read alouds or um, if there's something online, a video that they want you to watch, they will tell you in the lesson. So that's something that you can just prepare ahead of time for, get the book out, or make sure that you have a computer or a laptop or a phone um, if you're wanting, if you need to watch a video on their website. I kind of just make, a, I just jot it down in my planner I'll just put a little um, asterisk with the word computer or book or something to remember that I need to have that out when we're going into a specific lesson that needs it. So The Good and the Beautiful also has these really neat science journals that you get with your unit and you can choose what grades you're wanting. This is a grade three through six student journal. I love this. This is probably one of my very favorite um, things that they have implemented with these units. I love that everything is all together in a separate book for your child. Um, and then you can just get as many books as you need per child. So because it's already, because the uh, unit itself is bound, these come separate for your children to utilize. And I love that it's already bound together. They're perforated, so if you wanna pull them out, you can. And they're based off of the grade level of your child. So this is three through six, and then this is seven through eight. And so the extensions are gonna be inside of here for the lessons as well as any normal activities as well for your kids for this age range. Very cool, I love how it's just all together. It makes my life so much easier, right? Just to grab it all and go. So this is the health and the physical body from the good and the beautiful. Like always, everything will be linked down below for you guys. If you have any questions, please comment down below and I'll get back to you. Thanks again to the good and the beautiful for partnering with me on today's video and I'll see you guys in the next one. It's just the last time I can see you in a while. Is it the truth that you'll be living tonight? We should take a walk then a swim in the sea.